50 megapixel rear camera, a 90 hertz display, a 5000 mAh battery, and the MediaTek G88. This and many more features the new Infinix Core 30 comes with. This is my review. Let's get it. First, let's talk about the price. Start from 1,702 Ghana CD to 1,898 Ghana CD, depending on the storage variant that you decide to go for, which I still think is a very, very cool budget price considering what this offers. Now let's see what comes in the box when you decide to pick this up. Inside the box, you are greeted with a phone, A transparent silicone case, a 33 watt charger with a Type A connecting port, a Type C to 8 connecting cable, an earpiece with a 3.5 connection jack, a SIM card ejector too, and now the phone. I always still appreciate the fact that even for this price, Infinix has all these things right in the box for you. The charger and the case that comes with it. That is really cool. Let's talk about the design. This phone has a plastic reel and back. The back has this really nice design that looks really cool. It feels like glass but it's plastic so you should definitely know that when you decide to pick this up. The colors that we are having this year, we have the racing black, surfing green, and sonic white. I think the design at the back is definitely going to get people's attention, even though you might want to throw a case on this because it's definitely a fingerprint magnet. Luckily, you always get a case in the box. It is not a heavy feeling device. It feels comfortable in the hand. It has flat size, which seems to be the trend for 2023 devices. The power button at the side has this little card that allows you to notice where the power button is without even looking. That is really cool. The buttons are tactile and I did find out some cool little trick whilst I was setting this up that I think you guys should know about. Did you know that if you press the volume up and double down, it opens the camera application, which is really cool. For the button part of this device, we have a speaker, a type C port and a 3.5 headphone jack. The speaker on here is the stereo speaker setup, so I really like that. For the left side, we have the SIM card tray which can accommodate two SIM cards and also a micro SD card. At the back, we have what looks like a triple camera setup, but we are going to talk about that later on in the video. So in general, when it comes to the design, I think this looks really cool, especially this design that they have at the back. It makes this device look really nice and I like how comfortable it feels in the hand. It's not heavy or anything like that. So for the design, I'm going to give this an 8 over 10. It's cool. Now let's talk about the display. We have a 6.7 inches, 1080p IPS, 90 hertz display. This is a really decent looking display, especially considering the price tag. We get a flat display, a control camera, and minimal bezels all around with 90 hertz. All this come together to make this a nice display to interact with. Colors are decent, just like IPS panels in this price point. Maybe the display isn't the brightest for outdoor use, mainly because it's just 500 nits. But if you're using this indoor, you're not going to have any issue when it comes to the brightness of this display. The colors are also decent as well. I like how they look and if you turn this around, it still has very good viewing angles. You're definitely going to enjoy consuming content on this due to the stereo speaker setup that is found on here. So for the display, I think this is a very decent display that should get the job done. I really appreciate the fact that they didn't use a teardrop camera on the display. They used a poncho, which makes the device feel and look very premium. So I like it. And the 90 hertz refresh rate makes this feel very fluid in everything that you do. So Infinix, good job with the display too. When it comes to performance, under the hood, we have the MediaTek Helio G88. This is a 12 nanometer chipset and we get 8GB of RAM which can be boosted to 16GB using memory fusion. That is always a welcoming feature. And right out of the box, you get Android 13 installed. And the performance seems to be on par with devices in the same price category. The 90Hz display is definitely a contribution to this looking and feeling very cool. This is the Geekbench Core. It's almost similar to the device that I checked out a few weeks ago, the TechnoSpark 10 Pro. To be honest, it feels almost the same. The device feels good, animations are decent. For gameplay, you can get some very decent performance. COD plays at low graphics at high frame rates, something most people can get along with, and PUBG plays at HD high.
And if I have to tell you, I played a lot of PUBG on this guy and I didn't seem to have any issues with it. If the frame rate up here is right, it was always saying 90, but anytime that I paused, it says 60. So I don't know if the frame rates that I get from the developer options is right, but whilst playing the game, I didn't have any issues at the graphics weren't the best, but it didn't affect my gameplay. Yes, when you get this out of the box, it comes with a couple of bloatware, but you can uninstall most, but you can't uninstall some of it. So it's something that we've always had issues with when it comes to devices in this price category. The operating system also comes with some really nice features that I always appreciate when it comes to the devices but I really wish the Android 13 could actually be felt when it comes to the user interface for instance change the wallpaper maybe it should affect a whole lot of things other than the wallpaper but we don't get all those little tiny details when it comes to Android 13 but in general when it comes to performance this is really really solid it's fast it's fluid you can use it for almost all your day-to-day -day activities social media and anything like that it's fast the 90 hertz refresh rate is very snappy as you can see it literally makes interacting with this device really really cool so gameplay interface usage and everything is really nice on the infinix hot 30. now to the batteries on this guy we get a 5000 milliamp hour battery in here and during my charging test with a 33 watt charger that is found in the box this fully charged in about one hour and 25 minutes from five percent to 100 percent i think it's cool and during my test I did play PUBG for about 20 minutes and I ended up using about 7 to 8% of battery life. So if you find yourself playing games maybe for 10 minutes or so, this battery should easily last you for the whole day. But if you're somebody like me that doesn't play game a lot, this literally can take me throughout the day with no issues. So battery life is always solid when it comes to devices in this price category. Now let's talk about the cameras. We have a 50 megapixel main sensor, an AI cam, and an 8 megapixel selfie camera at the front. These are pictures that I got from the cameras. And when it comes to videos, this can actually shoot at 2K 30 FPS. These are some sample footages that I got. This is a solo video test on the Infinix Hot 30. Let me know what you think about this footage when it comes to skin tones and also the sound. Let me know in the comment section down below. So in general, what do I think about the Infinix Hot 30? To be honest, it feels like a Techno Spark 10 Pro that I checked out a couple of weeks ago. And if you guys want to see a comparison, let me know because it actually, where is it? It probably even looks almost the same. And they have a lot of similar features that I can't wait to share with you guys. So if you want to see a comparison between the Infinix Hot 30 and the Techno Spark 10 Pro, let me know in the comment section down below. It could be an interesting video. But I think the Infinix Hot 30 Pro is actually good value for money considering this is not even 2000 Ghana City. You get a 90 hertz refresh rate, the Helio G8 A chipset, which makes performance one of the solid features about this. The battery life and the display are all very decent. So if you're looking to pick up an Infinix device without breaking the bank i can also recommend this to you it's actually really good for the price point so this brings me to the end of my review of the infinite hot 30 let me know what you think about this device in the comment section down below if there's anything you feel like i missed let me know in the comment section and i'm going to help you sort that out thank you for spending time with me and i'll see you in another video